Welcome back to the Cool Fear channel. I'm your host, Jesse the Bat Madrigal, aka the Buff Collector. The information on this channel is intended for all collectors and not children. And today we are going to be taking a look at the NECA Toys Walmart slash Auto T exclusive black and white mirage shredder if you do enjoy this video please remember to give it a like share comment and subscribe jumping right on into this review guys yes today we are finally taking a look at the NECA toys walmart slash auto t exclusive black and white shredder and i'm sure you guys can hear the dread in my voice no it's not because of the figure but it was because of what i had to do to get this figure now i'm sure a lot of you that have been following this channel know my disdain for the process that it took for me to get this figure the auto t code the punching in the code that you buy at walmart into a separate website that wasn't even advertised as correctly you know put you know it's auto t vault in terms of the website but they kept saying go to auto t.com auto t.com and well if you go to auto t.com it just redirects you to auto zone and so yeah this thing was just a hassle to get my hands on because like I said in order to get it you had to go and buy a code at Walmart then type that code in into a separate website where you then had to choose whether you wanted to have your physical item shipped to you or have it stored in their collectible vault so that way you can you know resell it and know that it's in mint condition when you do and so yeah, you guys know my disdain for this. What real collector wants to keep their figure in a virtual vault of any kind? The only people that would, would be resellers. So I was very vocal when it came to my disdain for this uh, whole process and whatnot, especially for this figure that we've essentially gone three separate times. You know, once before in the original Mirage Shredder Foot Soldier pack, as well as the Loot Crate exclusive Mirage Shredder and now finally in his black and white form. So yeah, it was just a hassle to grab him, but I am happy to say that he is in my collection. And like I said, we have gotten this figure before, so there's really nothing new besides the paint and the look of it because of the paint, obviously. So with that being said, guys, why don't we go ahead and take a look at everything that he does come with. He does come with two extra hands, and so he is currently using his secret pants, but he does come with two fisted hands right here, a right and a left which you can see are very well done in terms of the black and white detail, even in the palms right there, as you can see, they put some nice detailing, and they even outline the fingers, which is pretty damn cool. And as with the other releases, you do get this, uh, I guess, bladed weapon of some sort. I don't really know the name of it, but you do get that alongside with his uh, bow and arrow, which I guess he uses in the comics, which I've never seen him use, but they do include this with the other releases as well. So they went ahead and gave it, to this one as well so that is pretty much it for forty dollars guys you get a new paint uh deco and uh just a few handful of accessories uh with this shredder unfortunately yes he is forty dollars because he is a exclusive guys so with that being said guys why don't we go ahead and pull him off the rotating turntable so we can take a nice closer look at this new paint deco all right guys so here we have him up close and personal to the camera but before we take a look at him Let's go ahead and set him down just for a quick sec so that way we can take a look at his bow and arrow. All right, so before we take a look at him, let's go ahead and take a look at the bow and arrow. It's pretty plain. You get some nice little black lining right there, a bit of a bow with a little bit of tension right there, and then you have the arrow right here. Uh, and yeah, once again, just done in black and white. So with that being said, now let's go ahead and grab Shredder himself pull him forward and take a closer look so yeah like i said same figure we've gone before in the past two other times this is the third time around however the only difference being this black and white paint deco so yeah all in all it is pretty well done i have to admit like i said my issue is not with the sculptors and the painters at NECA toys it is with their management and the stupid ideas that they come up with uh for distribution and how these things go about um, but it is what it is we finally got this in hand like i said nothing too crazy nothing too different from the previous releases in terms of sculpt so i do like the shading on his helmet it does look very nice uh, it is pretty cool and everything uh, so yeah i guess with that being said guys let's go ahead and move on into this guy's articulation so he can look all the way to the right he can look all the way to the left he will look down that far because he has a joint right there at the base of his neck so he will look down that far 
he will look up that far. He has some okay head tilt, nothing too crazy. His arms are a bit stiff, but they'll go just under a T-pose right there. Uh, not so much 360 rotation because it gets caught right here on this pad, so I would be careful with that. You do have a bicep swivel right there, as well as double hinge elbows, which get a little gummy and stuck, I have to admit. Some rotation at the wrist, as well as hinging in and out once you break that seal, but it will hinge in and out once you do. At his waist, he does rotate, however, he has no ab crunch down or back. Uh, taking a look at his leg articulations, he can join the cheerleading squad, which of course he can. He's a ninja. He has to be flexible, right guys? Uh, taking a look at his leg articulation, he will kick forward that far. He will kick back that far with double jointed knees, so he does kick back that far. He does have some thigh movement up top. It's not quite a thigh cut, but he does have some thigh rotation up there. Taking a look at his boot, he does have boot rotation right there. And taking a look at his ankles, he will go down that far as well as up as far as there, and ball rocker hinge, and toe articulation. So, yeah, guys, like I said, same figure that we've gone before. So, yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this guy's articulation. All right, guys, so that has been my review of the brand new NECA Toys Walmart slash Auto T exclusive black and white Mirage Shredder. What did you guys think of this figure? Let me know down in the comments below, and what did you guys think of the process in order to acquire this figure, let me know down in the comments below and please do not hold back. With that being said guys, if you made it to the end of this video, please type down in the comments below, can opener, because well, Shredder never needs to look for a can opener with the armor that he has, right guys? So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at some really cool pics that I took of this guy. If you did enjoy the video, please remember to give it a like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a great fucking day.